So I've done build videos in the past. And then more recently with Final Shape, I did, you know, Star Eater build videos showcasing different supers and what kind of total damage you could do utilizing Prismatic and, you know, stacking buffs and all that stuff. But because the exotic class item is so awesome, and because Prismatic is also super awesome on all three classes, I really want to start making more build videos showcasing different uh, exotic class item combos and then showing what kind of builds you can really flesh out with these exotic perks and all the fragments and aspects and weapons and all that stuff. So in today's video, we're going to be showcasing an amazing infinite melee warlock build. So unlike Titan and Hunter, this is not a like melee damage build. This is just an infinite fun ad clearing melee, or I should just say ability spam build. In this video, I will be going over every single thing that I'm using to obtain this infinite ability spam, mostly a melee, but it is an inf infinite ability spam in general. I'll go over my build in terms of stat distribution and mods, and then specifically subclass and all that good stuff. So anyways, let's go ahead and jump right into the build. So first things first, let's break down my stat distribution. And I want to point out that I went out and got a whole new set of armor specifically for this video. I'm not even kidding. I used a bunch of engrams and stuff at uh, the ghost to uh, get a bunch of strength because I don't have strength armor. I don't really use strength builds, but uh, it ended up working out perfectly. My build honestly is pretty good. This is not a perfect build, by the way. If someone was like, you know, really wanted to and really focused, you could easily have a triple 100. You know, you could have a lot better stats. But I think at the end of the day, the fact that my mobility is really low, which is good. My resilience is 100 and my strength is 100. And then I have, you know, 50s across the board with recovery, discipline, and intellect. I honestly think this build turned out really, really well. But anyways, sorry, I'm rambling. Let's go ahead and look at my build. So like I said, I have 100 resilience. I have 100 strength. I think that is the most important thing with this build. Uh, obviously, you want as much strength as you can possibly have because this build is all about melee. And then resilience is just the best stat in this game. That's why you always want 100 resilience. So let's go ahead and look at my mods. On my helmet, I'm using a solar siphon mod to, you know, make orbs with my solar rocket sidearm. A uh, special ammo finder because I'm rocking a special weapon mostly to get kills and I want as much special ammo as I can get. And then hands on for that super energy on melee kills. Moving on to the arms, we have some momentum transfer so that we can reduce my melee cooldown with grenade damage, which you will see that I'm spamming grenades like crazy. Uh, and then we also have heavy handed, which gives me orbs when I get, you know, powered melee final blow kills, which is obviously what I'm doing constantly. And then I have melee kickstart, which this one is not necessary. None of this is by the way necessary, uh, but melee kickstart is probably the worst mod I have on all of my stuff. And I might, I know that might sound crazy because of when you read it, you're like, well, that seems pretty good. But the problem with specifically this build is that you have three melee charges and melee kickstart doesn't proc until you've used all your melee charges. It doesn't proc on just using one. It has to use all of them. So that's the reason why melee kickstart is not the greatest, but I had space and I don't need uh, vigor because I have strength. I have max strength. So I don't think you can go over 100. I'm not 100% sure, but yeah. Anyways, so those are my arms. On my chest piece, nothing spe special, just resistance. Um, and you probably don't even need this resistance. I was just quickly adding a bunch of stuff. Um, then my legs. I have Invigoration, which when you pick up orbs, you reduce your melee cooldown. I also have Innervation, which reduces your grenade cooldown on pickup orbs. And then I have Solar Scav, just so that I'm getting more rocket sidearm ammo on every pickup. And that is my armor mods. And then, you know, the most important thing about this build, which I probably should have started with, is the class item. So on the Warlock Exotic class item, I have Spirit of Inmost Light and Spirit of Syntheseps. If you don't know what those are, uh, Inmost Light is when you use an ability, any ability, so a grenade, a melee class ability, it empowers your other abilities. So for this build, you know, you throw your grenade and then it empowers your melee damage. So that I, I would throw my grenade and then do my slide melee. And then Syntho Steps improves melee damage when you're surrounded by enemies. So this is just a perfect combo of ability spam. And then I do have a mod on, I could I actually could put another mod on here. Um, I was using time dilation. I always use time dilation. I pretty much 
I think I always have um, time dilation on. Honestly, I wasn't using it, but you could use outreach. You probably should use outreach. You could use a couple outreaches or a, a bomber and an out outreach. Um, because, again, this is such a good melee or ability spam that you will constantly be using all of your abilities. So if you're using an ability to reduce the cooldown of another, it's really good. Um, the only downside of this is that you would be using your class ability to reduce your melee cooldown and your grenade cooldown. And you'll see in this video, most of the time I don't use my class ability intentionally as a safety precaution because it's my only way of healing, which you will, you will see uh, more into the video. So yeah, that's all my armor. Those are all my mods. That's my, uh, you know, stat distribution, all that. Uh, and then lastly, I do want to go over my weapons real quick because this weapon is very, very important to this build. And everybody in the community can get this right now. Like, this is not something like, oh, you know, content creator, luck, blah, 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 blah. Like, everybody can grind it for this weapon. It's super, super easy. It's craftable. But this is very important to this build. So, first off, rocket sidearms are amazing. I feel like everybody knows that. This rocket sidearm is awesome because it can get pugilist and demolitionist. Which, if you don't know what those do, one of them reduces melee cooldown on kills, and the other one reduces grenade cooldown on kills. So, every single time you get a kill with this sidearm, you're just reducing your cooldown. That is very important to this build. Definitely want to try to have a weapon with Pugilist. It doesn't have to be this rocket sidearm, but this rocket sidearm is just so good because of those perk combos, and it just instantly kills everything. has a ton of ammo. Allows you to get away with using double special. I pretty much use double special exclusively these days. Um... But yeah, so those are my mods, armor, and weapons. Now let's go ahead and jump into the subclass. So super-wise, it does not matter. This is personal preference. I was using Song of Flame. I think Song of Flame is easily the strongest super on this subclass, and then Nova Bomb would be second. And just preference again, Nova Bomb is really good, but you need Star Eaters to make it really, really good, and obviously I'm not using Star Eaters. Um, so yeah, so your super does not matter. Uh, and then your abilities are extremely important, sort of. Uh, so again, this is my build. So Phoenix Dive, in my opinion, is extremely important because it is a good way of healing. You know, you have low recovery. I only have five recovery. Um, Phoenix Dive is a good panic ability to save yourself in certain situations. You'll see me use it a couple times uh, in some of the gameplay. Um, but yeah, so Phoenix Dive, in my opinion, is very important for this build. I do recommend using it. Obviously, your movement is up to you. Melee, extremely important. This is one of the most important parts of this build. You need to use Arcane Needle. And the reason why you do that is because it gives you three melee charges. The other ones do not give you three. This one gives you three. Grenade, this is personal preference. I think Storm Grenade is the best grenade out of the Warlock Grenades by far. Uh, but you do need to use anything but a Healing Grenade. Uh, I mean, you could use a Healing Grenade, but it would just be kind of pointless because you're not damaging anything. You're just throwing it to proc uh, in most light. But yeah, I use Storm Grenade because I think it's really, really strong. And then moving on to the aspects, Feed the Void. Devour is huge here. Allows you to stay alive constantly. Uh, again, low recovery. So Feed the Void pretty much just ignores that. Allows you to constantly get full health, full health, full health with every kill. With every every single kill. Grenade kill, melee kill, weapon kills, whatever, right? So Devour is huge here. And then lastly, Lightning Surge. Obviously, this is one of the most important things of this build. This is what gives you the slide melee, which is really, really strong. And again, this specific melee gets you three of these, which is super, super amazing. And then lastly, moving on to the fragments. The fragments are not like end-all, be-all, you need to use these. These are just what I was using. I was using Facet of Awakening, probably defeating targets with light or darkness damage, or Super Final Blows generates an elemental pickup of the matching damage type. So basically, this is just to make elemental pickups, and it also gives you 10 resilience, which is nice. I was also using Facet of Balance, rapidly defeating targets with light damage grants melee energy. Obviously, this one kind of important to the build. Again, it's not mandatory, but it's just free melee energy when using the Solar Sidearm. Uh, Facet of Courage, this is not important at all. Honestly, this is just a really strong fragment that I just don't take off. It does give you plus 10 discipline, which is really nice, but this is not important to this build at all. Facet of Honor, collecting an elemental pickup or destroying a tangle grants transcendence energy of the same type. Again, this is not important to the build, but it does give plus 10 strength, so that's why I'm using it, so I don't have to waste uh, some mods on my armor. And then lastly, a facet of purpose, picking up an orb of power grants either amplified, restoration, frost armor, woven mail, or overshield based on the damage type of your equipped super. I use this because, again, free health, free restoration. I'm on solar. Every time I pick up an orb, I get restoration. It's just free survivability. 
And yeah, that is the actual build. Obviously, the hardest part about creating this build is having the exact exotic with Imos and Synthos. So if you don't already have this perk combination, I highly recommend going and getting it. Uh, but I do believe next Tuesday, Bungie is buffing the drop rate of the exotic class items from farming uh, the overthrow, I think is what the activity is called. Basically, from what I read, it sounds like every single time you open up an overthrow chest, it increases your chance of getting the exotic class item, like the next chest. Um, so, yeah, hopefully these are a lot easier to get next week. You know, right now, for me personally, it takes me like anywhere between like 20 and 30 minutes to get an exotic, just opening up chests and then doing like the overthrows. Um, but obviously you can just complete, you know, the dual duo, uh, destiny or dual, whatever it's called <laughs> uh, and get one every single time. And you can complete that in 20 minutes um, as well. I personally just don't really find that mission uh, very fun to like farm. Like it was a fun mission once, but it's not really something I enjoy farming because it's just long. But anyways, that is it. That is that is the build. That is the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, feel free to suggest other exotic class item combos for any class, by the way. I do play all three classes. I have a Warlock main. I don't know if that's obvious. I don't know if I've said that many times. I am a Warlock main, but I do play all three classes a lot. I, I have tons of experience with Hunter and Titan. It's not like I can't play the other two classes. I just prefer, prefer Warlock. Uh, but yeah, so if you have any exotic uh, combos that you would like to see me try to make a build off of or suggestions and stuff like that, feel free to let me know. Um, I am farming the class items a lot right now, trying to get different combos. There's another one I'm really, really, really looking for on Warlock, which use, utilizes Devour. Um, but yeah, that that's going to do it. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.